Hey everyone and welcome to another video tutorial from Roberts Productions. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, do a watermark into in your image. Just like you see here in this photo, we got this little copyright single signal sing, sig oh my god. Symbol. And then your name. Okay. Uh we're going to try to be creating this. But uh, it might look a little better than that. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually open up our random image. This is from DeviantArt.com. As you can see, they've already tried to add their... Well, they already added their copyright signal, symbol down here. <laughs> and the title of it up here. Instead of doing this, I mean, it's, it's okay. I have to leave it on there. We could add a copyright symbol embedded within the photo. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to go over here to the text tool, hold down on it, and select the horizontal type mask tool. Shortcut key is T. I'm going to select a pretty big size, which that size is actually pretty good already. And uh, that font is good as well. Whoa, maybe not. Okay, let's let's bring down that size. A little bit more, a little bit more. What's up with the? Oh, okay. What? Okay. I'm gonna type in uh, copyright. And if you hold down the control key, it allows you to drag this over. Copyright. That's all I'm putting. Then click out of it. You can select the arrow tool. And you see we have a mask around where the text should be. What we're going to do next is we're going to hit Control J. And what that does is it brings our text into a new layer all by itself. So if I unview this background, there we have it. Copyright. Now what we're going to do for this layer is we're going to um, select the blending options and um, we're going to select bevel and emboss. We can bring the depth up a little bit and that's that's pretty much all there is. We've got the copyright symbol there. You can't resize it because we made it as a mask. But you can move it around since it's on that new layer. It's uh, rec it, it should just stay right where you put it because you see it has a blue matches with it. That's one way to do it. Another way we could do this is that I'm going to unview this layer, and we're going to click back on our background. I'm going to select the horizontal type mask tool once again, and I'm going to click in the center here. And I'm going to also type copyright. A little bit bigger font. Um, but that's okay. You can have it as big as you want. Hit Control J. And once again, that brings us into a, uh, another layer just with the text itself. And we could also select these blending options. But instead of bevel and emboss, we can do a little bit of an inner shadow. And this kind of engraves it into the image, uh, the image. And uh, we could select, you know, many different types of uh, settings here, such as the choke, and the size, not too much, distance. That kind of embeds it into the image a little bit. And it's a little bit more hidden if you don't want to like lose the quality of the image. Whoops. Let's redo. Step forward. Okay. And so I've taught you two ways. Here's the first way. Bevel and emboss. It's pretty cool. And the second way. More of an engraved type of copyright watermark 
what you can call it. It's a watermark. And uh, this is more like if you don't really want to lose the quality of your image, you can place this like in the top corner or down here. And uh, they didn't want to even touch their photos, so they just put in these black bars, copyright, title. That's all for this tutorial. Hopefully it helped. Please request tutorials to me, automatic updates. In order for me to do more tutorials, you need to request, and I'll do them. I'll make them. I won't do them. I'll make them. And uh, if you're on YouTube, please rate, comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'm Robert from Robert's Production Studios, and until next time, take care.